For the last few years, I've been worshipping on the streets and in train stations when it's snowed and the sun's been shining when it's been raining, hail, all weather conditions, all temperatures and it has been an enormous privilege to just be a part in what God is doing and to connect with the wider body of believers and followers of Jesus and yeah it's basically I just go and and I set up my stuff and and I begin to worship and I, I just welcome God into wherever whatever space I'm in um, and pray for the people that are going to come into contact with me and, and, and be walking past in that in that slot and when I do that people people meet with Jesus and people are encouraged and um, and God moves and he meets with people and and I just have the huge honor of partnering with God and what he wants to do in those moments and in that space and originally I started off um, doing secular music on the streets trying to raise money for a gap year course um, I was going to do in worship and and through that experience just began to play worship songs on the streets and the more I did that the more I just had a realization that was like wow like this could be so much more than just playing songs and getting money this can be like actually an opportunity to to welcome God into this so I started doing that and started showing up and doing two hour slots of worship at train stations and welcoming God into the spaces um, that were really weird and and I welcomed God and, and through that you know God showed up and he moved and he did stuff and is transforming lives and it's still going on now. Have you got any stories, specific stories and how did you get those stories? Great so I I love to tell the stories straight from the people um, instead of exaggerate or just get the wrong information. So um, people uh, send me messages, I have my social media things up on as I when I do the worship and then afterwards people send me messages um, online and just share the stories of what God did when I was worshipping, when I was um, doing what I was doing. So I've got a few that I'd love to read out just as an encouragement. Um, so this is one and these, these words are like the words, they're not my words. This is the words of the person that had been affected by it. So uh, I've struggled so much since I lost my brother three years ago. I felt distant from God. I felt lost. I haven't been to church either since. And today when I heard you sing, I honestly felt God's presence. Thank you so much. For the first time in three years, I played gospel music again. It has been hard, but after this afternoon, I feel like I'm getting back to him. That's one story of someone that was just literally walking past. Um, and then there's another as, as well that I really love. Um, and I love how it just all links to um, like how God just plans stuff and we don't even know. Um, so dear Zach, that day you were singing at Waterloo Station marked exactly one month that I had been suffering from debilitating headaches. While I managed to push through, that day it all got a little too much for me. I went to the GP after work and picked up a prescription for medication. Every pharmacy I went into didn't have the pills. They all said the only one that had them was the boots inside Waterloo Station. So as I was walking there in a panic, while at the same time asking God, why am I still suffering with this? Your singing intercepted my prayer and my journey to Boots. I was stopped in my tracks and felt the grace and peace of God over me again. I felt his comfort as you sung, still, call the sea to still. I could feel the outpouring of his love. My headache became bearable again and I didn't end up going to Boots. Praise God and I thank him for your boldness and using you to be the calm in the midst of my storm that day. Praise Jesus always. Um, so those are just two stories of people that literally happened to be walking past at the time when I was doing um, doing the worship stuff in, in, the, in the train stations or on the streets. Um, and even last week we had stories of, of people who had heard really 
like bad news on their train and then they got off their train and walked went through the ticket barriers and then saw the worship and were just really like touched by like the love of God and they felt like God had really like God had seen them and, he, and even in their struggle and in their you know the disappointment of the news they'd received they were just so encouraged by just worship happening in this space and, and, and that for them was a real moment of like wow God God loves me he, he's he knows me you know he's there for me so yeah